Hey guys, so I have been requested to do a lot more Chit Chat Get Ready With Me, but like different styles because my Chit Chat Get Ready With Me I always do for Ipsy, so it's like, you know, get ready with me while I feature my things in Ipsy for that month. But I have been requested a ton on all those videos to do other various Chit Chat Get Ready With Me, so today I'm going to do a CCGRWM for filming. So it's going to be like a Chit Chat Get Ready With Me for filming. So you're going to see how I kind of do my makeup for like a filming day. Um, I do a little bit more makeup than like my average everyday makeup sometimes. Sometimes I go all out for every day, but usually I put on a little bit more mascara, a little bit heavier eyeliner, eyeshadow because it just shows up a little bit better on camera. So that's what we're doing today. I plan to film, I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt to film at least three other videos including this one so it's going to be a very full filming day that's basically all it is so here we go we're going to do a little chit chat let's do this i'm going to start by priming my face with this little sample of the hourglass veil primer i think is what it's called I'm not sure i got a sample of it at sephora because i'm on the hunt for a nice primer I have very combo skin, so it can be a little bit challenging to find a primer that works for that because I don't want it to be oily, but then I also don't want it to like cling over my dry patches. So I got a couple of samples to try out, and this was the one that the lady recommended the most, although it is, of course, the most expensive one. So I'm giving it a try. I wore it for the first day yesterday, and I wore like a tinted moisture over the tinted moisturizer over the top because I went to the beach and man this thing works like it's waterproof it has SPF in it and sweat resistant and all of that like it stayed so I don't know I kind of feel like it's worth the money it's like really expensive though I don't know do you guys have any primers that you like tell me in the comments below that work for extremely oily t-zone but very dry chin area this isn't my chin my cheeks <laughs> so when I was going to Sephora I really was going to purchase the makeup forever HD foundation I had been wanting this and I just decided to get it because well when you're watching this I'm pre-filming so I will be in Michigan for the month of May because my wedding is May 23rd which I'm really excited about and I wanted to get the HD foundation because although I'm getting my makeup professionally done for my wedding I wanted something that would look good in pictures because I know it being like my wedding I'm going to be getting lots of pictures with my family and stuff before the wedding and I just wanted something that would look really good for that so finally invested in the HD foundation and I'm pretty excited I did because this is amazing it looks so good in pictures it's very full coverage so if you don't like full coverage foundation probably not for you but I'm using my beauty blender to blend it in Alright, so for concealer, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer underneath my eyes. So I'm going to set everything with my Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Blotting Powder. I don't know if you can see this, but I have hit major pan. I love this powder. So I just powder my T-zone and underneath my eyes because, like I said, this part of my face gets very dry and like flaky and weird. So I don't want to put anything on there that's going to make it more dry and flaky and weird. For bronzer, I'm going to use the NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder. I've been loving this lately. It just gives you like this gorgeous bronzy, obviously it's a bronzer, but like fake tannish almost just gives you like glowy skin. I kind of just put it like where I would contour but also like up a little bit and just put it more like um like where sun would actually hit you like where you would start to see tan skin and then I also put it on my nose like on the tip of my nose and on the tip of my chin because when you're tan that's usually where you start to like notice it for blush I'm going to use my Sonia Keshek blush in melon 
So like I said, I'm pre-filming a ton of videos, so I'm not really sure when this is going up, but I know that I will be <laughs> in Michigan, because I'm going to be in Michigan, that's where I'm originally from, for the whole month of May, which I'm pretty excited about, because I'm excited to see all of my friends that I haven't seen in a long time and my family. But that also means, like, the stress of trying to keep up with my YouTube channel because I'm going to be staying with my parents and they live out in the country. Wi-Fi is like a non-existing thing out there, so I'm trying to pre-film and pre-upload before I'm gone as well. So I apologize if some of my videos seem like a little like out of order and what I'm talking about seems like very weird and like out of order, but that is why. Alright, I'm going to move you guys in closer because I'm going to start to fill in my eyebrows and work on my eyes. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use my Maybelline Brow Precision Brow Pencil. I think it's in deep brown. I'm not sure. Everything that I use will be listed down below, though. So I just start to comb my eyebrows, put them in place. And then I take the pencil, which needs to be sharpened badly, but I don't know where my sharpener went. I think my cat took it, honestly. So I'm going to try and fill them in with this, like, stubby, stubby dull tip, but I'm just going to lightly fill them in. I don't go crazy when I fill in my eyebrows because, I don't know, you can probably see they're pretty full as is, so I don't care too much. I feel like I probably should have used powder because that was kind of hard and it kind of hurt a little bit. It's getting so dull. Okay, so I just primed my eyelids and for eyeshadow, I'm going to use my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I haven't used this in ages, so I want to bring it back out. I'm going to mix rose and beige together a little bit and then I'm going to sweep it all over my eyelid. So when I'm filming this is actually my finals week and my last two finals are in two days which I'm so excited about because I just, ugh, I'm over finals, I'm over school, I'm ready for summer. But wish me luck because one of my finals is my French final and hot damn, I am not good at French. Like I am suffering but it's my very last French class I ever have to take so I'm, ooh, I'm over it. On a fluffier brush, I'm going to take this uh, light brown color and I'm going to swoop it through my crease and kind of blend those shades together, defining my crease, all of that good stuff. So are you guys done with finals? Are you taking finals? How are your finals going? I know college finals should probably be wrapping up pretty soon or be done and then high school finals should either be starting soon or have started so good luck to all of you this is the u.s speaking i don't know about other countries do you have finals in other countries i'm not sure i know in england they have finals but it's all the classes i took when i was studying abroad was more like big essays were due at the end not so much like tests which i'm not gonna lie i prefer to take a test than to write a like 10 page, 15 page essay. Okay, so I'm gonna darken up my crease a little bit and I'm gonna take this really deep color, it's called Coco, Coco, yep, Coco on this fluffier brush. All my brushes are dirty by the way. They are being washed the day before I leave to go back home to Michigan so I have clean brushes to bring with me. But I'm gonna put this in the outer V and just blend it lightly, kind of deepening up the look a little bit. I'm going to take this mocha color, which is kind of a lighter, almost like silvery tone bronze color. I don't know, it's, it's really pretty, but I'm going to use this in the outer V to kind of help blend together the two, my lid color and then my outer V color, kind of putting it right in between those two. This will just like melt everything together, if you will, melting it. That sounds weird. I don't think I like that term, melting it. So I've been obsessed with watching documentaries on Netflix. 
I talk about it in my April favorites, some of the documentaries I've been obsessed with, but I have seriously watched like over 10 documentaries in the past like three weeks. I'm so obsessed with them. So if you have any recommendations for Netflix documentaries, tell me in the comments below. But some other ones that I've been watching that I didn't mention in my April favorites because I filmed that one too early um, is Blackfish. Oh my gosh. You guys, go watch Blackfish. It is heart-wrenching. It's about orcas at SeaWorld and it's so I bawled. That's that just wraps up the whole thing. I was bawling like hysterically and my husband was like, "Are you going to be okay to watch this?" And I was like, "No, I'm not, but we need to keep watching." I'm going to take this light color and use it as a high highbrow, a brow highlight. But it's it's so sad and they're so smart and they have like such personalities and they're able to build such bonds and relationships with each other that it just it tears it tore me apart and I cannot stop thinking about it it's so sad I'm gonna take this light shimmery shade and use it as a inner corner highlight so you guys watch blackfish and then tell me what you think tweet me at Kelsey closet because I want to know did you guys ball are you banning SeaWorld, they're terrible people. I'm gonna take Mocha again and I'm going to use on this like stubbier brush and I'm gonna use it as a um, underneath my lash line. For some reason, I can never remember what this is called. Your bottom lash line, under lash line, I don't know. All right, so I am back. I did my wing liner off camera because I always show me doing my wing liner in like my other tutorials or chit chat with me. So if you want to see what I do, you can look back at some of those. But I used my Revlon Color Stay liquid liner. I did this off camera because I feel like this video might be getting a little bit long, so this will speed things up. But now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Full Lash Blue Mascara. So here is a close-up of the eyes because I'm finished with those. Yay! Now I'm going to move on to my lips. Alright, so for lips, I'm going to use like a really pretty bright color from Urban Decay. This is their... Oh man, I don't remember what these are called. I can't remember what this lipstick is called, but it'll be put down below. Um, but this is in the color Anarchy. And it is like a super bright pink color. This just looks really good on camera. And I want to do like something a little bit brighter because my eyes are a little bit subtle. So it'll look nice for camera. Okay, so I am done for today. I'm ready to do some filming. This is a bright lip, but I like it. It's very like a blue tone pink and it makes my teeth look white. So that is going to be it for my chit chat get ready with me filming edition, if you want to call it that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to title it, but it'll be down there. I've already figured it out, obviously. Um, I apologize if my like words come out a little weird today because I'm starving. It is lunchtime. And I feel like I might have like mixed up my words and I'm not going to notice it until editing. YouTuber probs. If you're a YouTuber, you know you've been there where you start to edit and you're like, why did I just say that? That's not the correct word. That's probably what's going to happen today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell me in the comments below some other chit chat. Get ready with me. See, I told you words. They're not real. Tell me in the comments below some other chit chat get ready with me videos that you guys would like to see. Um, would you like to see just all makeup or would you like to see some like outfits as well? What kind of additions would you like to see? Maybe like lunch or like school or I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!